your son. Hi, Larissa. Hi, Steve. Hi. Well, my son is 30, and he has a really bad habit. He sleepwalks. And um, he'll go in the kitchen, make a pizza, put it in the oven. Next thing you know, smoke detectors are going off. He wants to leave home. I'm afraid to let him go. I'm afraid he's going to chop down somebody else's house. He's 30? He's 30. See, if he's 30, he shouldn't even be in your house sleeping. <laughs> What's your baby in this boy for? What's he my baby? He's not your baby. He's a 30-year-old grown man. Okay. He's not your baby. Okay. No, I, what do you mean, oh? <laughs> Stop this. Stop doing this to each other this morning. Oh, this ain't an all oh moment. See, this is an all hell no moment. <laughs> this is not all. Oh. Thirty-year-old person living at your house. I don't care who he is. He has to move. I left. I left my father's house at seventeen. That was it. I went to college. That was it. I flunked out of college. He let me stay in the house. My mama said, "Can Can Steve just stay here for six months?" He said, "You got ninety days." Wow. He told me to get out. My father was serious about his money. Let me tell you a true story. What my father did for me when I was in college. He sent me no money. He didn't understand that. One time, my father sent me some money. It was in an envelope. It was between two index cards. True story. I opened it up. It was a $5 bill. Ooh. The note said, this gonna have to stop. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. Put him out. Thank you. Okay. <laughs>